What's up guys and welcome to the show. So let's get to the popcorn popping, get the stores pouring, get the coffees made. Hurry up, make love to your eyes and get right back out here because it's time for your favorite show. That's right, it is the Lucha Libre New Slash Ryan Show right here only on Peter Buddy. So let's just dive right into things. we got a little bit to go through today. Uh, not going to be a hugely long show, but it's going to be decently uh, long. But uh, anyway, let's just get right into it. So CMLL held their final uh, for the Universal uh, Championship Tournament the other day. And the final was, was a singles matchup that's seen El Terrible versus Nabia Roja. Uh, this matchup was best two out of three falls. It was of course a singles matchup to decide who will of course be uh, coming out as the Universal uh, Champion. Now, the, ma the matchup was actually really good. I actually really enjoyed it. It was a lot better than I actually thought it would be. Uh, now I would have liked to have seen a little bit more back and forth in the match, but all in all I found it to be rather really good. Now El, Ter El Terrible, uh, El Ter Terrible, but I can't talk today, uh, did end up winning this matchup. Now he is the uh, new Universal uh, Champion. He won the two out of, uh, he won two falls to none. Uh, Nabila is saying that uh, El Terrible uh, cheated and did not win cleanly. Uh, now, to, between you and me, I don't agree with that. Uh, both men fought cleanly. Uh, I didn't see any cheating during this entire matchup. There was no visible cheating uh, on either side. But uh, Nabila has uh, decided that uh, he would challenge El Terrible in a hair versus hair match because, uh, of course, he thinks that he cheated during the matchup. I didn't see any cheating myself, but uh, El Terrible ended up accepting the uh, the hair versus hair matchup. Now, of course, no date has been uh, no date has been um, released as to when this matchup is going to happen just yet. But I um, wouldn't be surprised if we didn't see that matchup within the next couple of weeks because that's how CMLL goes. Usually they like to speed along their things, but uh, it would be interesting. I don't know if he's going to put the Universal Championship on the line during that matchup. I probably will, uh, and uh, El Terrible is probably going to end up winning that matchup as well. I can't see him losing it. Now, of course, in AAA action uh, scene, Drastek Boy uh, and La Parquita and Dragon Bane taking on uh, Latigo, Mini Monster, Mini, a uh, Mini Monster Clown, Mini and Mini Murderer Clown. Uh, this matchup was really just okay. It was really not too much to uh, talk about. But Dragon Bane's team, and of course, obviously, ended up pulling out the win. Obviously, uh, Kiara uh, and Lady Martavella and uh, Vanello Three Junior ended up beating Golden Magic, Nino, and Starfire. Uh, in, in a decent matchup that I found actually rather really good. Now anytime you really get Nino in action, I mean you're pretty much really gonna get a, you're gonna get a really good matchup. Uh, he won me over first, Nino. I didn't really like him when he first kind of came out. I didn't really care for him. But the more uh, he's been kind of going on, uh, the more he's kind of won me over. Uh, now, of course, Laredo Kid ended up taking on Sammy Guerrero uh, for the Cruiserweight title. Uh, now, pretty much any time you get these two in the ring together, you're going to see uh, a really great matchup. Uh, now, of course, this was for the Cruiserweight title. Now, this matchup was definitely no exception. To that, Laredo Kid ended up winning this matchup and is now the new Cruiserweight Champion. Uh, he beat uh, Sammy, who was the former, who was the uh, Cruiserweight Champion going into this matchup. Uh, now Laredo Kid is the Cruiserweight Champion. He's also the Treo Tag Teams Champion. Uh, now, AAA is definitely putting a lot of stock into Laredo Kid as they're pushing him to even have a AAA Mega World Heavyweight title matchup. Now he's also a capital, he's also the capital uh, champion. So Loretta Kid is the Cruiserweight champion. He's one third of the Trejo Tag Team champions. He's the capital champion. And now they're pushing him to do a World Heavyweight champion. Now Loretta is definitely really good, but he's definitely not as good as they're actually really pushing him to be. Uh, AAA definitely should, uh, I mean, they're setting him up to give him, like, they're, they're pushing him too much. Like, they need to spread the wealth and give uh, a title shot to somebody who's a little bit more deserving, such as Pagano. Uh, a really good matchup for the World Heavyweight title, of course, will be the World Heavyweight Champion Phoenix versus Laredo Kid versus Pe Pagano, uh, with, of course, Pagano ending up winning that matchup. That would be really good. I mean, there's just, where, where they're pushing Laredo Kid way too much like i mean like that has three titles right now i mean this is they're just pushing them way 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 too much i mean they need to really spread the wealth really 
you know. I mean, because Loretto Kids, yeah, like I said, he's good. He's not that great. I mean, like, you got Pagano who's, you know, could be one of the greatest champions out there today, and they're not even giving him a shot and everything. So, I mean, you got Drago, for Christ's sake. Like, Drago's are the worst thing ever, you know what I mean? Like, as champion, and yet you have some of the greatest uh, luchadors in AAA today, and they're just not pushing them as they should be, and they're they're just really pushing all the wrong guys right now. I don't really know why, but uh, anyway, um, Mumba, um, Maximo, and Penelpa ended up defeating Cheeseman uh, in a matchup. Cheeseman, Torres, and La Mascara in a good but not great matchup. Now, definitely, definitely, definitely don't have anything against uh, Pimpella, but I mean, I don't really like her, and I mean, I haven't really seen her in a good matchup ever. Pretty much every matchup she's been in has been just really bad. Another matchup was uh, Aerostar and the retard uh, Drago and Son of Viking taking on or beating um, Carta Jr., Mocha Jr., as well as Tito Santana too. Uh, they ended up uh, winning those matchups, which like I said, I'm not a fan of Drago. I think he's the worst thing to ever happen, but whatever. What are you going to do, right? Now, ROH has announced a dream matchup for ROH 17th anniversary coming up on March 15th and that is Bandito versus Rush. I'm definitely looking forward very much up to this matchup. I think Bandito and Rush uh, arguably are two of the top luchadors in the world right now and a matchup between them could be exactly what ROH needs to really put ROH over with the Lucha Libre crowd. Uh, this will definitely be the first time that these two have ever met in the ring together or in the, have ever stood in the ring together, period, uh, in singles or other competition. Um, this could definitely well be the matchup of the year. It has to potentially be the matchup of the year, uh, period. Uh, as long as they do it right, uh, you know what I mean? Like these two, they're, they're so great uh, in the ring and singles competitions. And uh, for that one, I'm probably going to pick... Uh, I would like to see Bandito pull the win out, but I could also see Rush pulling the win out. I'm probably going to take Rush to win, but like I said, I would probably like to see Bandito uh, pull the win, but we'll have to see. Uh, definitely will keep my eyes out for, for that matchup, and I think everybody else should as well. And moving on to uh, MLW, now LaParca will be facing uh, Menace Warner. Uh, in a death matchup uh, in MLW on March 2nd, Noel Par Parka has been so dominant pretty much everywhere he goes. I'm surprised that he hasn't been in title contention uh, in a very long time. Uh, this will definitely no doubt be a really great matchup, but I definitely find it too predictable in the fact that Laparka is going to pull out the win. I already know Laparka is going to pull out the win. You already know that Laparka is going to pull out the win. So I mean, the matchup is just so predictable, but. I find MLW matches to be a little bit too predictable uh, in the way of like who they have and who they push and things like that. When, whenever they do a Lucha Libre matchup, you find it to be really predictable just because who's who's involved in the matchup and who's going against each other in that matchup. But definitely check it out. That is on March 2nd. So yeah, definitely go check out that matchup as well. We'll put... Uh, We'll of course do a review on that matchup and who we think is gonna or we'll do a review on matchup and like who won and stuff like that but anyway that's the video for today don't forget to like i'm subscribing over much and like always i'll check you in the next video